This video is all about the rise of robotic indoor farming. Watch. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here, and we are back again to give you another great video. So in this video, let's talk about robotic indoor farming or vertical farming with the help of AI and robots. This is all about the practice of producing food in a vertically stacked layers, such as in a residential house, used warehouse, or shipping container. And without further delay, let's begin with our video. Number one is Korean Smart Farming Leading the Global Market Smart farming enables the monitoring of growing conditions and introduction of an optimal environment regardless of time and space. Considering the establishment of an automated and information-oriented environment, the domestic agricultural sector has developed advanced technologies instead of using imported technologies. Smart Greenhouse is one of the examples. By analyzing the weak points of the existing greenhouses, the optimal growing environment of tomatoes has been established. Number 2 is Inside Hong Kong's High-Tech Vertical Farm of the Future. A Hong Kong company has developed a high-tech vertical vegetable farm that could help revive the city's fast-disappearing traditional agriculture. Farm 66 uses modern LED lights and aquaponics in a 20,000 square feet air-conditioned vertical farm. Sensors help control conditions to provide an ideal environment for an annual production of up to 150 tons of vegetables, which the company distributes to more than 100 supermarkets. Number 3 is Home Farming Using Robots Many people of today's generation don't know where their food comes from, nor how it's produced. This presents many health problems in today's society. FarmBot Genesis is a project to alleviate such concerns. It is an open source robot which enables users to grow food for themselves, minus the labor.
Number four is urban smart farm becomes a new trend. This indoor vertical farm measuring 394 square meters is run by a robot from sowing to harvesting. As there is no natural sunlight, LEDs are used to promote photosynthesis, while a small ventilator ensures air circulation among the crops. Plants are cultivated without using soil. Water mixed with natural supplements is sprinkled onto the roots to make the crops grow. Number 5 is Urban Smart Farm starting at Sangdo Station. In Sangdo, a subway station serving a southern Seoul residential neighborhood, Korea's first metro farm, an urban underground smart farm. A second has just started operation and two more are under construction. Number 6 is Bowery outperforms a square foot of farmland. Bowery grows more than 100 different crops year round in a completely controlled environment. Light, Humidity, nutrients, and water flow can be all maintained automatically. The company says it's 100 times more productive than a square foot of farmland and doesn't use any pesticides. That concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. day.